Right, gentlemen, we've already spoken here, I expect. Keep it clean and defend yourselves at all times. Good luck, shake hands. And not surprisingly, a tense looking dad Ricky at ringside as Campbell Hatton here takes this step up in class. Three years into his professional career and made to feel like the away fighter here in Sheffield as the Doncaster man, Jimmy Joe Flint, having sold 400 tickets, says he's not coming here tonight to just fall over. Into the first then of a scheduled 10 rounder for the Central Area Super Lightweight title. A title won 25 years ago by Dad Ricky, wearing shorts that are very similar to those donned by Campbell Hatton here tonight. His history about to repeat itself here. Can Campbell follow up on Dad's success of a quarter of a century ago? Very important here for Hatton to do, to do this. To work that body, not allow Flint to get any rhythm in his work. Oh, that's good work, good work to the body. We see straight away at the start of the fight, Flint starting out as a southpaw, going back to orthodox. I think he's going to try and be a bag of tricks tonight. He is very versatile, he's a good all-rounder. Just probably short the one, too. I like the work to the body, though, from Campbell Hatton. Good start. Yeah, he landed a lovely right hand there, Flint, and just held his feet, didn't he? And just allowed Hatton to, to work away. Oh, good shot there from Hatton, little right hand over the top, that low left hand there to Flint. I think the closer this fight is, the more I favour Hatton. If you can keep this at range, Flint, move. Like I say, be a bag of tricks, be elusive. That's the best chance I feel for him. Well, it's the tempo, isn't it? That's the key for Hatton. You've got to keep it at a high tempo. Flint might be the better boxer of the two, so you're making rushes work all the time, smothering with pressure. Evident touchiness at the press conference and again yesterday at the weigh-in in the build-up to this. Ah, chin, chin is so high there of Hatton as he lets them body shots go. They're good shots. I like skipping to side by side what he's doing there. It's the right thing. Flint doesn't need to be on the ropes, but he needs to keep that chin down. Campbell Hatton. Busy start by Hatton into the last minute of the first round. Well, what he, what he did there, Dan, and he stood in front of him, that's why his chin was high, and then in the second phase of that attack, when he spun around to the side, then he was better, then he could work away. So much better. It's that there, he threw, he threw a good right hand there, Hatton, when he works with the body, he doesn't bend his legs, and that makes him exposed. Flint hasn't, so, hasn't figured it out just yet. This is, is this the night when Campbell Hatton grows from boy to man in the professional sense? Just about to say, this is where Flip wants to fight, mate. He wants it at range. do feel he should be getting as close as he is to Hatton, but that's more Hatton really forcing himself on good work to the body. Round two. Campbell Hatton virtually marched back to the corner at the end of the first round, and Uncle Matthew very happy with those opening three minutes. And Campbell saying to Matthew that he felt he'd hurt Flint in that opening round. I'll agree. It was a very good round from, for Campbell Hatton. Boxing nicely, nice little left hook to the body though from Flint on the back foot, but he really responds well to encouragement and that was good advice in the corner from Matthew Hatton. There's also a good little right up cut on the ropes here as well from Flint. Just reminding our good man Hatton there, a little step back and Coming back with that solid jab. Yeah, it needs to be very, very sharp with that jab. He can be guilty of pushing that lead hand of his. Campbell Hatton with a good shot. But an equally good response from Flint, who held his ground in the centre of the ring. Yeah, Hat Hatton landed with a great right hand there, held his feet. Along Flint and with two bad shots, in my opinion. And that chin that you said, Darren, was held high by Campbell Hatton, was clicked by an uppercut on the inside there from Flint. I oh, got to throw off that roll there, Flint. Made all the right movements there, bent his legs, rolled under the shot. He never left us go. And that was a nice right hand over the jab of Flint from Campbell Hatton. 
That's Pep with the jab, sharper. Got a good reply from Finn. Nice work to the body, the left hook as well. I like the variation of Finn. Oh, again, that uppercut. A little spell here for Flint. Second time in the round, he's found a home for that right uppercut as we head to the final minute of the second round. Again, another tremendous contest here. Some lovely tempo. one two there from Flint. Really lovely rhythm to it as well. Just stepped in there, nice little straight one two. Some pace this fight, right in the second round. 100 miles per hour. Both picking good shots on front and back foot. And both being applauded by their respective corners, each of them trying to lift their man to more success. Absolutely no feeling out process in this fight. The right hand, he had the uh, left hand up. Campbell Hatton doesn't need to be doing that. Telegraphing the left to the body, leaving himself a little vulnerable. He's allowed, I think he's allowed Flint too much space to work here. It's already developing into a fascinating contest. Tonight in Sheffield, we started with a terrific contest between Nico Lavaz and Peter Merger, won by Lavaz, and now a tremendous first couple of rounds as Campbell Hatt attempts to win the Central Area Super Lightweight title, won by Dad Ricky 25 years ago. Tremendous right hand from Flint. Well taken by Hatton. Yeah, it was a lovely straight one, two. He took the sting out of the shot, though, Campbell, by leaning back slightly, but it was a lovely shot. Looking for the right hand again over that lazy lead hand of Campbell Hatton. This is where they were calling for this kind of boxing in the corner of Flint. Move, use your feet, be smart. Left hook as well. Hatton's but he's punching too wide here, Campbell Hatton. And that's why Flint just to tuck in, see the punches coming, and then punch down the middle. Confident start to round three from Jimmy Flint. Who exuded confidence throughout the build-up. Said there'd be half of Doncaster here to cheer him on on what would be a famous night. A couple of jabs there from Flint and a lovely right hand. Real good rhythm to his work at the minute. Yeah, his shoulders are nice and relaxed and he really lets the shots go, they're sharp and they're accurate. Switching again to Southpaw. You need to switch though. Nice, nah, the one two, yeah. You've got to be careful switching, you're switching for no reason. He's having so much success as an orthodox. <laughs> Can't get close here, can he, Campbell oh. Hatton? I think, and this will be the tactics, I think, throughout uh, the rest of the contest now. He's down to Campbell Hatton to try and get close. He got dragged into a bit of a fight in the first two rounds. Flint. They're boxing nicely on the back foot now. Campbell Hatton, yeah, it's going to be down to him now to get close. He can't be telegraphing these shots. Working the body well there with straight shots. Hatton. See, that's what happens when you telegraph that left hook, you're wide open to a left hook upstairs. Left hook to the body that gets through from Hatton, but he took a heavier shot to the head. All the Hatton's punches are a little bit too wide, aren't they? And I'd just be able to finish able to see them and block them and encounter quickly and efficiently. Got to double jab his way in here, Hatton. Low, double jab, like his, like his uncle was saying. Stay low, double jab his way in, then spin it on the target, then work away. Good jab on Flint. That was a lovely sharp jab. It really was. Sam home for that uppercut. Calm, complimentary words in the corner from Jason Cunningham, former British, European and Commonwealth champion. And Flint says they clicked straight away when they started working together. And that message about getting on the move Seem to have worked in the previous round, but now Campbell Hatton trying to reassert his authority after a good opening round for Hatton. Well, that's the right idea there for Hatton, but he just, again, when you get, when you get close to the target, work away, 
Move your feet around, that's semi circle around the body. That's nice high guard there from Campbell. That was lovely work from Flint. Good variation, it was a jab, and left hook upstairs, dropped to the body, and he finished with a right uppercut. Really, really good eye catching combination. He's got a really good rhythm to his work here, Flint, the last couple of rounds. I think for Hatton's got to do something quickly there to break that rhythm. Take that confidence away from him if he can. Good shot. I agree with you, Barry. Does not need to be in this southpaw stance. He just landed a right hand, Campbell Hat, and he's better off to stay where he is here in the orthodox stance. And it's that one two that he fires so well. Even there, Hatton's working through in the shots, but it's the cleaner work from Flint. Nice little uppercut in the inside. Got to be sharp with that jab, got to be sharp with the feet, Campbell. He's got to get closer, try and cut down this ring. Rather than take a step back here, Campbell Hatton, throw your shot, bend your legs like his uncle said in the early rounds. Bend your legs and roll and come back again. Tremendous right uppercut from Flint. Oh, nice left down from Flint. But also a jab got through from Hatton as Flint just switched once again to the South Pole stance. Very, very confident here, Flint. Switching an awful lot to rather and stay awful lot, but that is signs of somebody's comedy. He's starting to hold his feet a bit more. He's just got the edge in speed, hasn't he, Flint? Well, what, what he's seen, Flint, is that after Hamill throws the combination, he's, he's, he admires his work for a little while, and that's where Flint just spied up them, throwing again. Covering up tight, waiting for the, waiting for the, the pressure to subside, and then making his punches tell a little bit more effectively here. Better work. Uncle and trainer Matthew Hatton in the corner having a different view. Was he just trying to lift Campbell Hatton as we head towards the halfway stage of this contest for the Central Area Super Lightweight title? Good sharp jab again from Flint at the beginning of the round. Followed by that left hook and then a combination left-right copybook stuff, all working in the early stages of the round for Flint. Nice little body shot there, though, from Hatton as well. That's the left foot of the body. Yeah, it just needs to be more aggressive on this front foot. He's got to get close to Flint. This is where he wants to work. Keep that chin down, he's got to skip side to side. He's too predictable. He gets too wide, like you said, Barry, when he stands in front of Flint. He needs to use those feet. He does use them well, but he neglects it from time to time. And there's a prime example of standing a bit tall there through the jab, throw it back to the chest, and Flint just popping a nice little sharp one, two over the top. See, there's a little pause. After Hatton, there's a bit of work, there's a little pause. And, that, and that's the time when he's off the game court. That's a good shot. But he got lower, he used his legs then, didn't he? He bent his legs and jumped into that jab. Yeah, the punch out, but just slowed down a little bit. From Jimmy Joe Flint in this round, he's moving a lot. He has made hat fall short, that's better. Needs to be busy with the hands, just keep them nice and straight. I don't think it needs to be hooking, and trading with Campbell in close quarters, but keep it nice and long. Seems a nice jab though from Campbell Hatton in this round. Went far off, landing the target with a big right hand there, Campbell Hatton. He really took his head off the line, he dipped. His head to his left and through the right hand, but he had his right, uh, left hand up nice and high. Jimmy Joe Flint. A lot of movement in this round from Flint. In the Hatton 
Connor, they were suggesting that Flint was beginning to feel the pace. Lovely bit of work on the ropes there from Hatton. That's what you should do every time you get someone on the rope. Adjusting those feet. One, two there from Flint. And an uppercut. Here, into the second half of this fight for the Central Area Super Lightweight title. And Campbell Hatton looking to complete a family double 25 years on. That's a lovely jab from Flint. And a one, two. Well, Jason Cunningham in the corner said to Flint that he had to send a message in this round to get back on top. Good right hand from Hatton. He's doing the right thing with the right hand, Flint. He really takes his head to the left and he gets it over the left hand of Hatton. Just losing his way a little bit, looking a little ragged, Hatton. He needs to get the chin down. He, honestly, he carries it so high at times. Double out of their hand. That's hey, hey. Nice. Hey, what, he has responded to the corner, Flint. He has let his hands go a lot more in this round. The right hand there, though, from Hatton. And some good body work. It's a busy fifth round for Hatton. And Flint had to find something to stem that flow of aggression. Working away well on the inside. Heavy shots from Flint getting through. I think he could have gone again there, Mike. Flint landed three unanswered shots. Sort of stumbled to his left a little hat. He could have gone again, but it's a good response, though, from Hatton. Good work on the back foot. This is a brilliant round. It really is a good round. Ebbing and flow, really, really good from both. Terrific round in a terrific contest. Two right hands, very different right hands from Flint getting through. But Hatton too, having his successes to Polly and to Head. Both corners applauding every success of their man. Trying to lift them here as we head into the final 45 seconds of the sixth round in a contest that could still go either way. Been far more accurate with the right hand, Flint. Sort of lost his way a little bit with that shot in the last couple of rounds, but he's found a home for it time and time again, taking his head off the line to the left. He's got his head, he's got to keep his head not up, he's got to be keeping his eyes on Flint, but just looking at the floor there, Campbell Hatton, wide open to an uppercut. A good shot from Hatton. It's you go, I go. And all the signs, there'll be more of that to come as we move into round seven. It's scheduled to go ten. Both men have had spells of success, sometimes in the same round. The action flowing one way and then the other. He's got to do exactly what his uncle Matthew said, Campbell, when he does get close, work away to the body. Has to be busy now. Who wants it more? Who's going to leave it all in the ring? That's what he could ball down to his last few rounds. Yeah, it's a lovely left to the body. It literally is. You throw two, I throw two. You throw two, I throw two. Oh, oh the uppercut. A lovely shot from Flint. That was a brilliant combination from Flint, but somehow Hatton managed to respond. Uncle Matthew there in the background, applauding every success for his nephew. Every one of these could be crucial. Good body shot there from Flint. So they were great shots on Flint, but all I was thinking was, wow, what a good chin. Really good chin. Yeah, he's taking some big shots, shots that he's not seen coming. Oh, right hand again from Flint. Got to be quicker with that jab. Got to be sloppy. Good work, though, back from Hatton. Hey. 
Michael Sharpening for the head movement there, Hatton. Yeah, go, go, go. Two, sorry, Barry, he's had two opportunities there to splint to land counter shots. Nice right hand. Took his feet out of the range twice, he opted not to throw the shot. Got Caesar moments. That's good work, though. Nice little combination there. You've got to have to go again, haven't you? You've got to that second phase going a little bit quicker. And Flint just looking solely to counter. Now I think he needs to get back on his jab a bit as well. Force had the fall short. Nice left hook from Flint. He's got to keep that right hand up when he throws that left to the body. We've seen it a couple of times already in this contest. Throws that left to the body, but the right hand's far too low upstairs, and that's allowed Flint to find that left hook. Real solid left hand there from Flint. Big right hand towards the end of the round, draws applause from the many Flint supporters here. So will that have any effect on the work of Jimmy Flint as we head into round eight? And Campbell Hatton hasn't been beyond at round eight in his professional career so far as he walks on to another crunching right hand at the beginning of this round. So he's still got spring in his step, still feels, or looks rather, full of energy, Campbell Hatton. As does his opponent, though Flint, lots of head moving, dipping side to side, still moving his feet. Lovely, sharp double jab there from Flint. That cut might make, that might force Flint, he's boxing up his smarter again, possibly. He's a little bit sharp and a little more aware. And the blood starts to flow once again as Flint gets away, working away to the body. Responding in similar fashion is happy. Exchange after exchange, a testament to the conditioning and the resilience and the determination of both of these men into the second minute of round eight. Okay, Hatton did some good work, but just stood there and allowed Flint to fire back. That's good for Flint, just bending his legs now and again, just making Hatton a little bit wary to attack. Not, oh, right, the right up a cut. There's a nice short left hand, but inside as he slips inside the jab of Hatton. He's found a nice little right up a cut as well. Needs to use his feet here, Campbell. Don't smother your work. Ah, good work. Nice left to the body from Flint. That was great off the ropes there from Flint. Bobbed and weaved and rolled and then span off the, off, off the ropes from himself back in the centre of the ring. The corner have seen it of Flint. Flint's corner now, begging him to keep the momentum here, to continue punching. 40 seconds to go in round eight. Deep breath from Campbell Hatton, having to dig like never before in his professional career. Oh, good work, though, good from response Campbell Hatton. But a crunchy body shot there again, left up from Flint. This is relentless from Jimmy Flint in the closing seconds of round eight. How can Hatton respond here? Another crunching body shot. He almost couldn't have a double there as it landed. Closing seconds of the round. Big round for Jimmy Flint. Into the ninth round, and the courage and the resilience will flow through the veins of Campbell Hatton, but will it be enough now? That was a big round for Jimmy Joe Flint as acknowledged in the Hatton corner by his uncle Matthew. And Flint now goes on the front foot once again. Good shot there from Flint. You can just pull him Hatton back here. Really good work, really, really good work. Relentless from Flint. Comes Campbell now. Oh, that's great stuff here from Hatton. Look, absolutely knackered he is. He's still looking to, to fight back. Oh, 
Well, Dagwick, he can be so proud of this response from Campbell Hatton here, but still Flint goes on the forward march. The blood again appears by the left eye, but for him at the moment, he senses only victory. Just a step ahead there, Flint. He went to go and find the body shots. Did happen, but he moved his feet sharply out of range. Good work there on the back foot, but back comes Flint with a nice left uppercut. Tell you what, they both showed real toughness, a real will to win. Good left hook though from Hatton. A great response from Hatton, but as soon as he tries to find success, so another right hand bounces off his chin with a minute to go in this, the ninth round. Never been this far in his professional career, Campbell Hatton. I think he's neglected that right hand, Flint. He can throw it. Oh, big right hand though from Hatton. Right, they went back from Flint there again. What an exchange in the centre of the ring. Once again, the two men light up the arena. Another left to the body though from Flint. This is a brilliant round, a brilliant fight. from somewhere. Absolutely shattered, huh? can you blame him? Yeah. Oh, there's that right hand. He went looking for the uppercut once again. This now coming down to willpower. Sheer determination. It's a close one. Respect at the beginning of the 10th and the final round in this contest which has brought the Sheffield Arena alive here tonight and we're a long, long way away from the main event. Very, very tired hat and he started the round really well here, Flint. Lovely combination, picking the shots really well. Both of them been told in the corner that they need this last round. Flint looking for that uppercut that's been so successful in so many rounds so far. Hatton pushing him back, but he's pushing him back to hold on here. Yeah, he's leaning right over that front foot. He's wide up, open to an uppercut. He's finishing really, really strong here, Flint. He's got to come back, Hatton. He's got to let his own shots go. Is Campbell Hatton heading to the first defeat of his professional career? Two minutes to go in the 10th and the final round. Flint was so confident in the builder. So certain he had too much for Hatton. And now, with still more than half of the final round to go, Flint opens up again. How can Campbell Hatton respond? He's having to hold on. This is a brilliant last round, it really is, for Jimmy Joe Flint showing his experience. This level, picking the shots really well, head and body, even finding the shots here, backed onto the ropes, just smothering his work here. Well, Hatton's trying to push him back, but it's, it's Flint who's doing all the work. Oh, good shot. Oh, left hook as well inside from Flint. Flint supporters getting behind him here. The last steps of the journey, we're heading close to the final minute of the final round. Flint holding his ground, trying to force Campbell Hatton back. Hatton needs a huge finish now in this round. Oh, good left hook. From him though there. Hatton right to the end, trying to find a response, but still walking on to heavy shots. Flint here, still finding the openings in the closing stages of a pulsating contest here in the Sheffield Arena. Leaning right over that front foot. A slim find in the uppercut again. Both fighters begging their men to step forward for one final onslaught. One final flurry that might sway the judges. Last few seconds. 
Tremendous action from the first bell to the last for the Central Area Super Lightweight title. Ladies and gentlemen, before we read the session, if we can get a nice round of applause out here for both of these fighters, please. After 10 rounds of action here in Sheffield, we go to the judges' score totals, and they read as follows. Kevin Parker, 98-92. Victor Lachlan, 97-94. John Latham, 97-95. All three for your winner by unanimous decision. And still, the Central Area Super Lightweight Champion, the Young Lion, Jimmy Joffrey. And look what that victory means to James Jimmy Joe Flint, the winner by unanimous decision.